I think it can really help in jobs like environmental monitoring, for example, of an estuary system where the robot would have to go between patches of land and patches of water and transition back and forth to survey and take data. Another potential use case is, for example, support of divers. So the robot could transport materials or tools from the land to a submerged job site where divers are working. So we want to give the robot the ability to decide when it should change shape based on its environmental context and the perception of the environment around it, instead of just having a human operator decide when to change the robot shape and what to do next. So overall, we're taking both the gates that are inspired by terrestrial and aquatic turtles and the functional shapes of their limbs, and we're combining those into one robotic system.